jam on the floor. Ladies and gentlemen, live from the world famous Apollo Theater in Harlem, New York, are you ready? Are you ready? Please welcome Mr. Chris Rock. Tonight. You know, I was just in my hotel a little while ago on my way here, and uh, I got in the elevator, right? I'm getting in the elevator, and these two high school white boys tried to get on with me, and I just dove off. I said, like, y'all ain't killing me. I am scared of young white boys. If you white and under 21, I am running for the hills. What the hell is wrong with these white kids shooting up the school? They don't even wait till three o'clock either. <laughs> Killing people in the morning, that ain't right. It's that trench coat mafia. That trench, we, no one would play with us. We had no friends in the trench coat mafia. Hey, I saw the yearbook picture. It was six of them. I ain't have six friends in high school. I don't got six friends now. Shit, that's three on three with a half court. What the hell is wrong with these kids? I got people telling me, come on, Chris, come up to a school, talk to the kids. I'm like, fuck the kids. Do you got a vest? Maybe I'll think about it. And everybody want to know what the kids was listening to. And what, what kind of music was they listening to? Or what kind of movies was they watching? Who gives a fuck what they was watching? Whatever happened to crazy? Well, uh, you can't be crazy no more? Do we eliminate crazy from the dictionary? Fuck the record, fuck the movie, crazy. When I was a kid, they used to separate the crazy kids from everybody. When I was a kid, the crazy kids went to school on a little ass bus. They had a class at the end of the school. And they used to get out of school at 2.30. Just in case they went crazy, they would only hurt other crazy kids. And we was all safe. We was all safe. Then the world coming to an end. <laughs> world coming to an end. You're going to have little white kids saying, I want to go to a black school where it's safe. right man and everybody talking about gun control gotta get rid of the guns fuck that I like guns you got a gun you don't have to work out <laughs> I ain't working out I ain't jogging you got pecs I got pecs fuck that shit you don't need no gun control you know what you need we need some bullet control 
We need to make, we need to control the bullets. That's right. I think all bullets should cost $5,000. $5,000 for a bullet. You know why? Because if a bullet costs $5,000, there'll be no more innocent bystanders. The end. The end. Every time somebody gets shot, you be like, damn, he must have did something. Shit, they put fifty thousand dollars worth of bullets in his hand, <laughs> and people will think before they kill somebody if a bullet costs five thousand dollars. Man, I would blow your fucking head off if I could afford it. <laughs> I'm gonna get me another job. I'm gonna start saving some money, and you a dead man. You better hope I can't get no bullets on layaway. So even if you get shot by a straight bullet, you won't have to go to no doctor to get it taken out. Whoever shot you, take their bullet back. I believe you got my property. That's <laughs> right, man. See, everybody, everybody blame the kids is fucking crazy. And I'm just, everybody want to be mad at the kids for shooting up the school. What about the parents? The parents. The parents is really fucked up, man. The damn parents need to go to jail for some of this fucking shit, man. You know, every, cause everybody know that crazy ass kid that went to jail. You go, man, he ain't never had a chance. If you know this mama, you know he gonna be there. I was at the club the other night. I was down at Life, chilling at the club. You know, I'm chilling with this girl and she was dancing and it's about two in the morning I'm talking to her and realize she you know she had like two kids at home now I don't mind the two kids at home that's all good but I'm like what the fuck is you doing in the club at two in the fucking morning on a Wednesday night what the fuck you doing here is it your birthday did you get a raise well you got to get the fuck out you go! I'm kicking you the fuck out! Yes, bye! 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 Yeah, go take care of them kids before they rob me in 10 years! Yeah, man, you, can, you gotta get your kid on or your groove on. You can't get both on at the same time. I'm tired of this shit. Motherfucker. And there's a bunch of girls like, you don't need no man to help you raise no child. You don't need no man. Shut the fuck up with the bullshit. Yeah, you could do it without a man, but that don't mean it's to be done. Shit, you could drive a car with your feet if you want to. That don't make it a good fucking idea. Shit. I don't give a fuck. You could be the baddest mama on earth. I don't give a fuck how good you are. Ain't nothing you can say more powerful than, I'm going to tell your daddy. Can't fuck with it. Can't come close to, I'm going to tell your daddy. You can have a gun at the kid head. I'll blow your fucking head off. So what? I'm going to tell your daddy. Okay, 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 okay. Can't fuck with it, man. That's I'm tired of bumping to these girls at the club or late on a fucking weeknight. I got a little cousin got left back in the first grade. Left back in the first grade Cause his mama out getting the groove on You know how dumb you got to be To get left back in the first grade What's four plus four? Jello But that ain't his fault, that's the mama fault That's the mama fucking fault That's right That's right, and I'm, I'm telling my cousin I'm like, Trina, talk to your fucking kid Talk to him, teach him some shit. You know, if you said more words to him than mommy be back, he might know something. That's right. And it's real easy to tell who kids gonna be fucked up. It don't take no scientists to tell who gonna have some fucked up kids. If the kid call his grandmama mommy and his mama Pam, he going to jail. <laughs> you ain't saving no college money, you saving bail money. That money going to Johnny Cochran. <laughs>
That's right. If the kid can't read, that's mama fault. That is mama fucking fault. Now, if the kid can't read because ain't no lights in the house, that's daddy fault. <laughs> He got this shit down. See, see, nobody give a fuck about daddy. There's some, there's some real daddies out there. I'm not talking about the guy that just fucked you and left. Fuck him, okay? I'm talking about the real daddies. There's still some motherfuckers out there that handle their business. Motherfuckers want to act like brothers don't handle. There's some brothers that handle their business. But people don't give a fuck about, nobody give a fuck about daddy. Everybody take daddy for granted. Just listen to the radio. Everything's mama, dear mama. I always love my mama. Mama, mama, mama. What's the daddy song? Papa was a rolling star. <laughs> Nobody give a fuck. Nobody appreciates daddy. Now, mama got the roughest job. I ain't gonna front. But come on, at least people appreciate mama. That's right. Every time mama do something right, mama get a compliment. Because women need to hear compliments all the time. Women need food, water, and compliments. That's right. That's right. And an occasional pair of shoes. That's right, women got to hear it all the time or they lose their mind. And your daddy makes sure you thank your mama for everything. Tell your mama how good the food is. Tell your mama how nice the house looks. Tell your mama how, nice, how her hair looks. Did you tell your mama? Tell your mama. You better go in there and tell your mama. That's right, tell your mama, tell your mama, tell your mama. Nobody ever tells daddy shit. <laughs> Talk about the real daddy that handles the fucking business. Nobody ever says, hey, daddy, thanks for knocking out this rent. <laughs> hey, daddy, I sure love this hot water. <laughs> hey, daddy, this is easy to read with all this light. <laughs> Nobody give a fuck about daddy. I'm talking about daddy that handle his business. Nobody give a fuck about daddy. Think about everything that the real daddy does. Pay the bills, buy the food, put a fucking roof over your head. Everything you could ever ask for. Make your world a better, safer place. And what does daddy get for all his work? The big piece of chicken. That's all daddy gets. Is the big piece of chicken. That's right, and some women don't want to give up the big piece of chicken. Who the fuck is you to keep the big piece of chicken? How dare you keep the big piece of chicken? A man can't work 12 hours and come home to a wing? When I was a kid, my mama would lose her mind if one of us ate the big piece of chicken by accident. What the fuck? What, you ate the big piece of chicken? Oh, Lord, no, no, no. Now I got to take some chicken and sew it up, shit. Give me two wings and a poke chop. Daddy will never know the difference. Just can't do it, can't do it, can't do it. I don't know, man. The world's nuts, man. It's all good for Clinton. Anything, anytime something bad happens, good for Bill Clinton, just get people off his ass. Stop thinking about me. Good. Kids got shot. Good, good. Good, good. People not thinking about me. Ooh, tornadoes. Good, good. Ooh, people ain't thinking about me. Clinton damn near got impeached for what? For what? Lied about a blowjob so his wife wouldn't find out. Is that against the law? Do you need the Supreme Court for that one? You could have took that one to the People's Court. Could have took that one to Judge Judy. She'd have knocked it out in a half hour plus commercials. What the fuck did Clinton do? They was charging him with shit I didn't even know was crimes. Like, oh, you got us some gifts. So why they got us some gifts? That's his friend. You can't buy your friend a gift? 
try to get a job, try to get a job. You can't get your friend a job. She, 80% of people in this room got their job because a friend recommended them. It's against the law to get your friend a job. Shit, she blew him for a couple of months. The least he could do is give her a recommendation. The least they could do. That's right. See, people, everybody expects this holy behavior because he the president. Expect him to behave this holy way. He's just the president. He ain't Reverend Clinton. It ain't Pastor Clinton. It ain't uh, Maharaja Clinton. It is just Bill Clinton. He's just a man. A man gonna be a man. A man is basically as faithful as his options. That's how faithful a man is. No more, no less. And you see all these fat Republican guys going, I would never do such a thing. This is a travesty. I'm like, nobody's trying to blow you. <laughs> Ain't no 20-year-old girls trying to blow Orrin Hatch. Ain't nobody trying to give Newt Gingrich some. I don't give a fuck. You ain't never gonna hear Newt Gingrich go, man, I wish these hoes would back up off me. I wish they would just back the fuck up off of brother. Let a player play. Shit. That's right. It's damn near impossible for a man to turn down sex. It's ho 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 for a man to turn down sex. See, we can stop chasing it, and even that requires some rehab. But it's hard for a man to stop. Woo, turn what? If it chase us, we can't run that fast. It gon' catch us. We like, ah, 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 shit. Pull the hamstring. It got me. It got me. It got me. It can't run that fast. See, it's easy for women to turn down sex. It ain't shit for y'all to turn down sex. It ain't no thing for y'all to turn down sex. Y'all like, how come you? Why can't you turn it down? I do it all the time. I do it all the time. Why can't you say no? I say no. See, it's easy for y'all. You know why? Because every woman in here, ever since you was 13, every guy you met's been trying to fuck you. That's right. Women are offered dick every day. Every woman in here gets offered dick at least three times a week. Three times a day, shit. That's right. Every time a man's being nice to you, all he's doing is offering dick. That's all it is. That's all it is. That's all it is. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, can I get that for you? How about some dick? Oh, could I help you with that? Can I help you with some dick? Do you need some dick? Nobody offers us shit. We got to fend for ourselves. We can't believe it when we get off. We're like, damn, this is my lucky day. That's right, man. That's right. See, now this whole, this whole, this whole Monica Lewinsky scandal, a lot of this shit is Hillary's fault. That's right. I said it. I said it. It had to be said. Somebody got to say it. Everybody, ooh, Hillary's a hero. Hillary's a hero. No, she ain't. Aquaman's a hero. He can talk to the fishes. What the fuck did Hillary do? A lot of this shit is Hillary's fault. Because ladies, you know your man. You know your man better than he know himself. You know what kind of man you got. You know if you got the craze and need a blowjob all the time, man. So like sometimes you got to save your man from himself. So you know what happens if he don't get his medicine. Hillary Clinton put us all in danger. She put the security of the free world in jeopardy and she needs to suffer the consequences for her actions. 
That's right, she the first lady. She supposed to be the first one on her knees to suck his dick. Lewinsky shouldn't even have stood a chance. Hillary pulled to already be down there like, hey, hey, I got it, I got it. I got it. I got the dick. Tickle his ass or something. Tickle his ass. Yeah, yeah, grab a ball. Make yourself useful. And they always been on clip. Oh wait, before any of this shit happened, they was on clip. What was they on them for? Uh, gays in the military. Everybody said, ooh, don't let them in, don't let them in. Hey, if they want to fight, let them fight. Cause I ain't fighting. I wouldn't give a fuck if I saw a Russian tank rolling down Flatbush Avenue. I ain't shooting nobody. So call me a faggot. When the war's over, I'll be the faggot with two legs. Thank you. You know what's fucked up? Everybody gets all homophobic. People, you need to cut that shit out. Cause everybody in this room got at least a gay cousin. Every last one of you got a gay cousin. You knew he was gay when y'all was kids. You was playing ball, he was jumping rope. He ain't turned gay, he was gay then. He just ain't had nobody to be gay with. Shit, I got a gay uncle, call him Aunt Tom. <laughs> Every Christmas he come over with his friend. <laughs> See, it don't make no sense to hate nobody. It don't make no sense being racist or sexist or nothing. But whoever it don't. <laughs> nothing. It don't make no sense. Cause whoever you hate will end up in your family. That's right. You don't like gays, you're gonna have a gay son. You don't like Puerto Ricans, your daughter's gonna come home and live in a vida loca. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't you just love that shit? That's a catchy ass song. You just wanna jump up on shit, live in a vida loca. Live in a vida loca. <laughs> I feel that shit. I be driving, living out here in our little I love that shit. That ain't going nowhere. That's going to be out a long time. That's just like the Puerto Rican whoops dead in. I don't know, man. What I talk, I talk about my gay uncle. See, your uncles prepare you for life. You got enough uncles that prepare you for life because your uncles, you got every type of uncle. You got your gay uncle. You got your alcoholic uncle. You got your stealing uncle. You got your molester uncle. Everybody got that one molester uncle. And you know your mama's like, where them kids at? They were Johnny, get them kids, get them kids. Hurry up, get them kids. Don't you leave them with your Uncle Johnny! Don't you leave them with your Uncle Johnny! Later on, you get molested, your mama get mad at you. That's what you get! Hanging around fucking Johnny, I told you about that shit! Now walk it off! That's your family. <laughs> I don't know, man. Let's talk about Clinton. One thing Clinton did I didn't like, raise taxes. Taxes all high and shit. You know what's fucked up about taxes? You don't even pay taxes. They take tax. You get your check, money gone. That ain't a payment, that's a jack. Got all these taxes, city tax, state tax, social security tax. You don't get the money till you're 65. Meanwhile, the average black man dies at 54. <laughs> Shit, we should get Social Security at 29.
the fuck, man? We don't live that long. Hypertension, high blood pressure, NYPD. Something to get you. What the fuck is up with the police, my God? I'm scared. I ain't get rid of no guns. Fuck that shit. And I had a cop pull me over the other day, scared me so bad, made me think I stole my own car. <laughs> get out the car. Get out the fucking car. You stole this car. I'm like, damn, maybe I did. <laughs> oh, Lord, I done stole a car. <laughs> you know what's worse than taxes? What's worse than taxes? Insurance. You got to have some insurance. You got to, there's an insurance. They shouldn't even call it insurance. They should just call it in case shit. <laughs> and I give a company some money in case shit happens. Now, if shit don't happen, shouldn't I get my money back? <laughs> That's right, man. You better have some medical insurance or you're going to die. That's right, everybody, ooh, you gotta eat right and exercise. No, you don't, you need some coverage. <laughs> coverage will save your life. That's right, I mean, we all gonna die, but at least if you got some coverage, you will die on a mattress. <laughs> That's right, man, when I was a kid, we didn't have no insurance. We didn't have a damn thing. You had to be damn near dead to see the doctor. That's why you had to be way past Robitussin. <laughs> That's all we had when I was a kid, Robitussin. No matter what you got, Robitussin better handle it. Daddy, I got asthma, Robitussin. I got cancer, Robitussin. I broke my leg, daddy put Robitussin on it. Yeah, boy, let that Tussin get in there, boy. Yeah, boy, let that Tussin get on down to the bone. Yeah, the Tussin ought to straighten out the bone, it's good. If you run out of Tussin, put some water in the jar, shake it up, more Tussin. Mo Tussin. You know how I like doctors? Cause they don't cure shit. They don't cure nothing. Same disease has been hanging out since I was a kid, man. What's the last shit a doctor cured? Polio. You know how long ago polio was? That's like the first season of Lucy. <laughs> shit, Fred had an afro with finger wings. Have you ever met anybody with polio? Anybody feel a little poly around you? No, that's right, they don't cure shit. Same disease has been hanging out since I was a kid. AIDS, sickle cell, tuberculosis, cancer. Jerry's kid still limping around. I've been watching the Jerry Lewis telethon for probably about 15, 16 years now. Not one stitch of progress whatsoever. Come on, man. Lie to me, Jerry. Lie to me. What the fuck you doing, Jerry? Put a stick in the kid's back. Prop him up or some shit. Come on. Come on. Call Steven Spielberg. Get some special effects on this shit. Get George Lucas on the case. CGI, motherfucker. CGI. What the fuck? Put tie some string around him. Make a crippled puppet or some shit. Lie to me. Where the fuck's the money going? Where's the money going? What? To keep Jerry's hair black? Where's the money going? What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, think about it. Frank Sinatra dead. Dean Martin dead. Sammy Davis dead. Jerry Lewis got a full head of black hair. And if you ain't gonna cure the disease, cut the kids a check. That's right, you know little boys get ready to die? Get them a table dance! <laughs> get them a table dance for Christ's sakes! I'm sure the make a wish people hear that request every now and then. Get the boy a table dance. What do you want, Jimmy? You get ready to die. You wanna meet Jim Carrey? No, I want some big titties in my face. <laughs> it's my last wish, come on! That's right, we got AIDS out there. You think they're gonna cure AIDS? No. They can't even cure athlete's foot. <laughs> they ain't 
curate. Shit. They ain't never curate. They ain't never curate. <laughs> Don't even think about that shit. They ain't curate because there ain't no money in the cure. The money's in the medicine. That's how you get paid on the comeback. That's how a drug dealer makes his money on the comeback. That's all the government is, a bunch of motherfucking drug dealers on the comeback. They ain't cure no AIDS. That's all it is. That's all it is. You think they gonna cure AIDS? They still mad at all the money they lost on polio. Cure it ain't shit. That's like Cadillac making a car that lasts for 50 years. And you know they can do it, but they ain't gonna do nothing that fucking dumb. Shit, they got metal on the space shuttle that could go around the moon and withstand temperatures of, of up to 20,000 degrees. You mean to tell me you don't think they can make an Eldorado with a fucking bumper don't fall off? They can, but they won't. So what they will do with AIDS is the same thing they do with everything else. They will figure out a way for you to live with them. Cause they don't cure shit, they just patch it up. Get you to the next stop. So they can get more of your money. That's right, they ain't gonna cure it. Hopefully, in our lifetime, that's right, you're gonna see somebody go, yo man, you weren't at work yesterday, what's up? Hey, my AIDS is acting up. You know when the weather get like this, my age is pop up. But I took some Robitussin, I'm fine now. That's right, man. AIDS is scary, man. I took my AIDS test, passed it, got 65. You know what's scary about the AIDS test? What's scary about the AIDS test? You don't get the results back for five days. Five days, whoa, that's a long time. And you know what happens in those five days? You start reflecting. <laughs> you start thinking about every nasty, skank-ass, questionable piece of sex you ever had, and everybody got a few. And you're like, ah, oh, God, what the fuck was I thinking? 1993, whoa. She didn't even have teeth, oh, God. What the fuck was on my mind? It's like the movie Scrooge and the ghost of Pussy Pass comes. <laughs> Remember me? I'm Itchy, the stripper from Miami. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what else happened after you take your AIDS test? You start calling up people to see if they're alive. <laughs> Hell, can I speak to Lisa? This is Lisa, click. <laughs> Hell, can I speak to Tammy? Uh, Tammy dead. Oh, <laughs> uh, what happened? She got hit by a bus. Thank the Lord! Thank the Lord! Yes, yes, yes! Yes! Go Greyhound! Yeah! She got hit by a bus! Live in a vida loca! Yeah! <laughs> yeah, man, at least they're still working on AIDS. At least they're trying to get rid of AIDS. Some diseases they just gave up on. Like some diseases, if you get them, you on your own. They ain't gonna have no telethon for you. R. Kelly ain't singing no song. You just got this shit. That's right. You get paralyzed, they don't got shit for you. Look at Christopher Reeves paralyzed. Superman can't walk. What kind of sorry ass shit is that? Superman can't walk. What's next? What the fuck? An Aquaman gonna drown in the tub? What the fuck? What kind of injustice is this? Superman can't walk. The Hulk won't get the gout? What the fuck? Superman can't walk. Now you gonna tell a doctor you paralyzed? They don't got shit for you like Doc, I'm paralyzed. What you got? Oh, why don't you take this chair and roll your ass around town? <laughs> Not all the fuck you guys a goddamn chair? Where the fuck I'm supposed to take this prescription? To a furniture store, motherfucker? I gotta go to Ikea? What the fuck is this shit? I said I can't walk, I ain't said I can't sit. That's right. 
If you go blind, they don't got shit for you. Look at Stevie Wonder. Been blind for 40 something years. Got all the money in the world. Don't know if he got hundreds or ones. <laughs> It's just a stack to Stevie, it's just a stack. They don't got, Stevie can't see shit. Can't see the day, the night, the shadow, the shade. Can't even get a peek, just a peek. Can we help Stevie get a peek? Get a fucking peek. The man wrote songs in the key of life, talking book, in a vision. Can we get this brother a peek? Just a peek, just a fucking peek. Is that asking for too much? Just a, that's it. You tell a doctor you blind, he don't got shit for you. Uh, doc, I'm blind, what you got? Oh, uh, why don't you take this dog and have the dog drag your blind ass around town? That's all the fuck you got the damn dog? Man, if I could see, I would whip your ass. A fucking dog, what the fuck is wrong with you? Come on, give me a midget or something. That's right, blind people should get midgets. All blind people should get mentioned. It's hard enough living life when you're blind. Now they gotta learn how to talk dog. <laughs> what kind of shit is that? You can't see, so you can't read the dog lips. You just listen. Rawr, rawr. What? What? On my shoelace sometimes? What? Rawr, 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 rawr. Cold outside? What? 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 Rawr, rawr. what? Somebody at the door? What? What the fuck? What? Just give blind people midgets. If you're a midget, it's already hard enough to get a job. Just have the midget tell the blind man where to go. Be a CNI man. Just walk in front of the blind man like, yo, man, you gotta make a left. Just make a left, bro, make a left. Racism everywhere, everybody pissed off. Black people yelling racism. White people yelling reverse racism. Chinese people yelling sideways racism. <laughs> and the Indians ain't yelling shit cause they dead. So everybody bitch about how bad they people got it. Nobody got it worse than the American Indian. Everybody need to calm the fuck down. Indians got it bad. Indians got it the worst. You know how bad the Indians got it? When's the last time you met two Indians? You ain't never met two Indians. Shit, I have seen a polar bear ride a fucking tricycle in my lifetime. I have never seen an Indian family just chilling out at Red Lobster. <laughs> never seen it. Everybody want to save the environment. Shit, I see trees every fucking day. I don't never see no Indians. I went to the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade this year. They ain't even have enough Indians for that shit. They had a bunch of pilgrims. When it came time for the Indians, they had three real Indians, and the rest was a bunch of Puerto Ricans with feathers in their hair. The fuck? Shit, I know Puerto Ricans when I see them. You can't slip a Puerto Rican by me. That's not Pocahontas, that's Jennifer Lopez. Racism everywhere. Who's the maddest people? White people. Not y'all, y'all are right. <laughs> Pay money to see me, we cool. <laughs> the feud is over. Now, you watch the TV, you watch like 60 Minutes so you see white people pissed off, man. Mad, the white man thinks he's losing the country. You watch the news like, we're losing everything. We're fucking losing affirmative action and illegal aliens and we're fucking losing the country. Losing, shut the fuck up. White people ain't losing shit. If y'all losing, who's winning? It ain't us. <laughs> it ain't us, have you driven around this motherfucker? It ain't us, shit. Shit, there ain't a white man in this room that would change places with me. None of you. None of you would change places with me, and I'm rich! Yeah. That's how good it is to be white. 
There's a white one leg bus boy in here right now that won't change places with my black ass. He's going, nah, man, I don't want to switch. I'm going to ride this white thing out, see where it takes me. That's right. Because when you white, the sky's the limit. When you black, the limit's the sky. That's right, man. Now, when it comes to racism, you know who the most racist people are for real? The real most racist people? Old black men. <laughs> you find a brother over six, I know some of you white people know an old black man. You go, oh, Willie at the job, he's so nice. Willie hates your guts. <laughs> Nothing more racist than an old black man. You know why? Because an old black man went through some real racism. He ain't go through that, I can't get a cab shit. He was the cab. White man just jumped on his back. Main Street. <laughs> Left, nigga. Left, nigga. Left, you fucking nigga. You know what's wild about the old black man, though? Old black man, he ain't gonna let you fuck up his money. Whenever an old black man sees an old white man, the old black man always kisses the old white man's ass. Like, how you doing, sir? Pleased to meet you. Whatever I can get you, you let me know. As <laughs> soon as the white man get out of sight, he's like, cracker ass, cracker. <laughs> cracker ass, cracker. I'll put my foot in the cracker ass, cracker ass, cracker. I wish that cracker would have said some shit to me. Saltine ass, motherfucking cracker. Two motherfucking motherfucker. Cracker, kiss my ass, you fucking cracker. White man come back. Howdy, sir. <laughs> I got an uncle real crazy. My uncle B, 55 years old, hates white people, married to a white lady. And he sit around going, you know, these crackers ain't shit. Except for Susan. <laughs> he tried to explain the whole thing to me one day. Say, yeah, 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 I got a white wife. I love her. She love me. That's all that matter. But I tell you this, if the revolution ever come, I'll kill her first. <laughs> just to show these crackers I mean business. <laughs> motherfucker, cracker ass, motherfucker, cracker. She a cracker, motherfucker. Well, hey, hey, hi, honey. <laughs> motherfucker, cracker, I'll kill my cracker kids, too. <laughs> That's right, man. That's right, man. I don't know, black. I don't know what we need, y'all. What do we... I think we need a new leader. We ain't have a black leader in a while. In a long time. Somebody that moves you. You know, we, you know, we had Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, and ever since then, a bunch of substitute teachers. <laughs> we ain't have the real thing. I want a motherfucker to move me. Who we got? Let me break everybody down. Let me break them down. Who we got? Uh, Al Sharpton, all right? Al Sharpton, all right? He ain't Malcolm or Martin, but if you get your ass whooped by the cops, he the guy to call. <laughs> of course, Al kind of looks like Bookman from Good Times, but... <laughs> But don't let that fuck you up. Who else we got? Uh, Jesse Jackson. Jesse, all right. Jesse went over there. Jesse got them hostages. I don't know how the hell he did that shit. He went over there with no money, no sweet potato pie. What the fuck did Jesse say? Jesse must have been like, hey, you want the United States to really be mad at you? Get the hostages to me. We got Farrakhan, Farrakhan get everybody together, Million Man March and everything, you know, it's all right. And Farrakhan don't like the Jews, which is bugged. I get my head cut on the Cow Avenue. I ain't never been in the barber shop and heard a bunch of brothers talking about Jews. Black people don't hate Jews, black people hate white people. We don't got time to dice white people up into little groups. I hate everybody. I don't care if you just got here. Hey, I'm Romanian, you Romanian cracker. We need 
a fucking lead tub, man. And now when we got no leaders, when something happens, we make this shit bigger than it is. Shit's big, but don't make it bigger than it is. I'm watching the news and like Tupac Shakur was assassinated. Biggest Smalls assassinated. Struck down by assassins, bullets assassinated. It's like, no, they wasn't. <laughs> Martin Luther King was assassinated. Malcolm X was assassinated. John F. Kennedy was assassinated. Them two niggas got shot. <laughs> Shit, I love Tupac, I love Biggie, but school will be open on their birthday. I don't think you're gonna see their pictures hanging up in your grandmama living room. That's Abraham, Martin, and Pac. And right here, I got one of Jesus and Biggie on a seesaw. Jesus always in the air. Need a leader, man. Need a leader, man. You know who I think the black leader should be? Who I think the black leader should be? Oh. Pat Riley. <laughs> Coach Pat Riley. No man has led more black men to the promised land <laughs> than Coach Pat Riley. He may not get us to the mountaintop, but he'll get us in the playoffs. <laughs> and that's all we want. That's all we want. So we got a lot of women here tonight. Love the women. Love the women. You know who my favorite women are? Big, fat, black women. Give me a sister about 350 pounds. The best people in the whole world. You know why? Cause we live in a society where nobody likes who the fuck they are. Everybody's on Prozac or some shit. Everybody's getting cosmetic surgery. Nobody likes who the fuck they are except fat black women. <laughs> fat black women don't give a fuck what you think. She going out on Friday night. She got her outfit on. That shit match. She got the pumps on and the pump fat coming out the pump. That's right, look like they baking bread in her shoe. <laughs> hey baby, your foot ready yet? I'm just bringing some cinnamon on it. <laughs> That's right, she got an anklet on and an anklet holding on for dear life like, ah! <laughs> she black woman don't give a fuck, she like, I'm sexy. I am sexy, yes I am. I am the sexiest motherfucker here tonight. Yeah, I got a gut, there's some good pussy under this gut. <laughs> That's right, you want some of this so you can live in a vida loca. Love the women, man. Women, women, women. What do y'all want? What the fuck do y'all want? Do you know what you want? Do you know where you're going to? Do you like the things that life is showing you? Do you know? What the fuck do women want? I know what you want. Everything. That's every woman's answer. Everything. Women want every fucking thing. Women act like life is just a big sale and shit. I want to get the most shit before things close down. That's how fucking life is to a woman. Everything. You know what men want? Do you know what men want? Food, sex, silence. That's it. That's it. Food, sex, silence. Feed me, fuck me, shut the fuck up. seem very attainable, don't they? <laughs> women, women, women. It's hard to figure women out. It's so hard being a guy. Now, we always think we could buy sex. Like, if I take it here, she give me some. If I buy this, she give me some. She nothing gets you none. She the woman know if she's gonna fuck you within the first five minutes of meeting you. you. Women know right away. They shaking their hands like, I'm gonna fuck him. <laughs> He don't 
don't say nothing too stupid. So I fellas, don't say nothing too stupid because women are all about the mood. If she's in the mood to fuck you, shut up, let it happen. Because if you say the wrong thing, them panties are coming up mighty fast. What you say? And she'd be on the phone with a girlfriend, yeah, child, I was gonna give him some. But he just started talking. Yakking a yak, 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 yak. I hate a yakking man, child. That's right, man. Relationships, easy to get into, hard to maintain. Why are they so hard to maintain? Because it's hard to keep up the lie. It's like, because you can't get nobody being you. You got to lie to get somebody. You can't get nobody looking like you look, acting like you act. Sounding like you sound. That's right, when you meet somebody for the first time, you're not meeting them, you're meeting their representative. That's right, that's right. Who's the biggest liars, men or women? Hey, men, men lie the most, women tell the biggest lies. Man, we lie all the time. We lie so much it's damn near language. That's <laughs> right. To, to call a man out for lying is like playing basketball with a retarded kid and calling him for devil dribble. <laughs> you gotta let some shit slide. You just gotta let some shit slide. Man, we lie all the time. We lie all the time. You know what a man's lie is like? A man's lie is like, I'm at, I was at Tony's house. <laughs> I'm at Kenan's house. That's a man's lie. A woman's lie is like, it's your baby. <laughs> well, we've all heard that one. And hey, the baby don't even look like me. Oh, he's got your hat. <laughs> That's right. Who's the biggest lies? Women the biggest lies. Biggest lie, look at you, all of you, you lie, you a fucking liar, you, 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 you a liar, you a liar, you all liars, all of you fucking liars, masters of the lie, the visual lie, look at you, you got on heels, you ain't that tall, you got on makeup, your face don't look like that, you got a weave, your hair ain't that long, you got a wonder bra on, your titties ain't that big. Everything about you is a lie, and you expect me to tell the truth. Fuck you. <laughs> Men lie, we lie, we live lies. That's why we so crazy. Every now and then we catch ourselves living a lie. We create a whole lie world around us. For instance, every man in this room is hiding some porno in his house. <laughs> every man in here got a pornography stash in the crib. Yeah, right. Not an illegal amount, just enough to get you by. Thank you. And when we hide porno, we go all out. It ain't behind the refrigerator or under the bed. No, we become Batman when it's time to hide some porno. <laughs> That's right. You hit the light switch, the whole bookshelf shift to the side. <laughs> You go down two flights and stairs into your porno cellar. Ah. <laughs> Janet Jack me, yes. Toby Kai, Gina Jameson, that's right. But women always find the porno, always find the porno. But they don't find it in the porno hiding place. Oh, no, no. Where do women find the porno at? In the VCR. <laughs> Fellas are like, damn, how can I be so dumb to leave it in the VCR? I'll tell you why. Cause when you're jerking off, you ain't in your right state of mind. <laughs> your brains are cloudy and foggy. I'll tell you exactly what happened. One day your woman left early. You had the whole house to yourself. So you said, hey, let me get a little jerk before work. <laughs> So you in the house getting your jerk on, nice good jerk too. You know that ain't nobody in the house jerk. That's a good jerk, it ain't like that. Somebody in the next room jerk. That's a bad jerk, that's like, eh, who there? 
I don't like that jerk. I'm talking about the good jerk. That nobody ain't home jerk. Or you get the Vaseline ready. And you just look at your dick and go scream if you want to. No one's gonna hear. And right then your relationship's in trouble. That's right. Because if you can't share what you like, you're going to have some problems. That's right. But when you really love somebody, you got to love everything about them. You got to love the crust of a motherfucker. You can't just love the white part of the bread. You got to love the crust, the crumbs, the little fucking crumbs at the bottom of the toaster. That's what the real motherfucker is. Whatever you into, your woman got to be into too. And vice versa or the shit ain't going to work. It ain't going to work. It ain't going to work. That's right. If you're born again, your woman got to be born again too. If you're a crackhead, your woman got to be a crackhead too, or the shit won't work. You can't be like, I'm going to church. Where you going? Hit the pipe? <laughs> that relationship ain't going nowhere. Well, two crackheads can stay together forever. <laughs> That's right. What's going to happen? You're going to stop fucking. That's right. Stop talking, stop fucking. Fellas, you ever been in bed with your woman? You're both talking dirty and you go too far? You just say some shit that gets you kicked out of bed? And the woman's like, fuck me, harder, harder, harder. Fuck me, daddy, fuck me, fuck me, spike me, fuck me. All right, you hoe, who you calling a hoe? Who the fuck are you calling a hoe? Untie me. Yo, I ain't no expert in no shit, but yo, fellas, if you're gonna talk dirty to your woman, you got to talk with authority. You can get a woman to do any nasty little thing you want. You say that shit like a man, make a little eye contact, put a little bass in your voice, she will do that shit. She wants to do that shit. She's dying to do that shit. Your woman is nastier than you ever imagined. But, but you gotta come correct. Cause anything you mumble ain't getting done. You can't be in bed all unsure like, hey, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, I was wondering it, hey, I was wondering it, a uh, man might have a request it. could you uh, lick my balls, huh? I ain't licking nothing, lick your own ball. See, if you'd have said it right, you'd have been in there. Now you got dry balls. That's right. Confidence always wins. You realize it is 1999. Some women still don't give head 90 fucking nine. Whenever I meet a girl that doesn't give head, I look at them like a damn Betamax. Like, they still make you? And when it comes to head, there's three types of women. Three types of women when it comes to head. A, women that don't give head. Bye, leave, see ya. B, women that give you just enough head to shut you up. Yeah, meet the women, they're like, huh, you okay? I hate them women. And number three, my favorite woman, the woman that like nothing better than a suck a dick. That's right, God bless all of you. That's right, you make the world a better place to live in. I want you to suck my dick like you think the antidote's in it. Like you trying to get some Robitussin out there, motherfucker. That's right, relationships, easy to get into, hard to maintain. Why are they so hard to maintain? Because at some point you just stop talking. That's right, everybody stops talking after a while. You know how you just come home and just start nodding? Yeah, what's up? Sure, sure. <laughs> yeah, 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 we cool, we cool, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to get into something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we cool. Why do you stop talking? Because at some point you have heard everything this person has to say and it makes you sick to your stomach. You know what they going to say before it even comes out their mouth and you just want to stab them in the neck with a pencil. You can't take the shit no more. And they're like, uh, you're like, uh, remember that time? Yeah, I remember that time. <laughs> oh, ever tell you about that? Yeah, you told me about the time. Stop telling me the same shit over and over again. Why don't you go out and get kidnapped? Have some new shit happen to you. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Fellas, you gotta talk. 
You gotta talk. Fellas, you got to talk. That's women's biggest complaint. You don't talk. You don't talk. You don't talk. You need to talk. Let's talk. You don't talk. That's why women love to talk. And that's right. They're talking in the Olympics. A man wouldn't stand a chance. <laughs> women love to talk, but they won't talk to you. They won't talk to their men. But women don't want you to talk, talk. Uh, uh, uh. Women just want you to listen, listen. I said, all a woman really wants you to do is ask her the correct questions that will allow her to run her fucking mouth. You set her up, she'll knock them down. Fellas, you want your woman to be happy? All you got to say is, how was your day? How was your day? Honey, how was your day? You know why? Because how was your day is a 45 minute conversation to a woman. And as a man, you don't really got to talk. You got to just act like you're talking like, uh-huh, get out of here. Go on. I don't believe it. You don't say, really? Get out of here. Go on. I don't believe it. You don't say, get out of here. I told you that bitch crazy. You got to throw in, I told you that bitch crazy. You know why? Because every woman's got another woman at her job that she can't stand. And women, y'all exaggerate everything. Y'all always turn it into some dynasty shit like, she's trying to destroy me. What the fuck are you talking about? You wrap up bags at J.C. Penney's. What's she doing, ripping up your paper? That's right, fellas, you gotta talk. Women, exact opposite. Y'all gotta learn what not to talk. That's right. You ever notice how no man comes home straight from work? No man comes home straight from work. A man get up work, he got to go somewhere. He got to drink something. He got to smoke something. He got to watch the game. He got to hang with his boys. He got to take a drive. He got to do something that will mentally prepare him for all the talking he gonna hear when he get home. <laughs> Ladies. Ladies, it ain't that you talk too much. You just talk too much as we get in the fucking door. Let a man get situated. We don't need to hear everything right away. Soon as you take one step in, you're gonna believe that. You're gonna believe that. Hey, let me get my other foot in the fucking door. Let me get something to eat. Let me get something to drink. Let me take a shit. Go in the fucking kitchen and give me my big piece of chicken. I'm out of here. Thank you, New York. For the show. Hey yo, Rick, let me see you dance, nigga. Come on, come on. Yeah, yo. That's how we do the dance, yo. Everybody now to the walk, to the walk. To make a thing go right, right, right. One more time, come up, y'all. Get out of sight. Oh. 